Hey guys, Peter Von Panda here. Ordered myself a set of these Tavolo ice sphere makers. Um, you know, little spoiler alert. Um, I like my whiskey, uh, all different types of it. And one of the things that I like doing is throwing some ice in there. And one of the issues with it is a lot of people don't only like throw in ice because it melts a lot, uh, or melts very quickly, or it dilutes it. Not a big deal for me, but you know, you can use the whiskey stones that I've showed you before. Or you can kind of do the Japanese thing and make yourself a giant ice sphere. And the ice spheres are cool because they don't melt a lot, but um, it's also really surprising to your guests because they don't expect to get a big sphere of ice in their drink. So it's really cool. Um, I've tried a number of different ways to make them and I like this the best. So I did get one of those uh, uh, silicone trays that make the ice spheres. That was kind of a pain and it didn't really work that well. So I thought I'd try this and I'm pretty happy with the results. Now to get it to work properly though, it uh, takes a little bit of technique, which I'm going to share with you here. So you, this, at least what the ones I got came in this set. They kind of look like baby food cups or whatever. And I have tried them out, and so I'm going to share my tips with you. First of all, there's two pieces. There's this lower piece with the bottom piece of the sphere. You can see here where it's going to make that lower half of your ice sphere. It's kind of a clear, translucent plastic. And then there's a the top piece, which makes the top half of your sphere. And it has a little hole here. And this is silicone, um, I believe. And this piece fits into here and creates the two halves. Now, a couple of things I'm going to tell you is that um, you're probably going to um, make it like I did. And what you'll do is take water and fill up this lower cup portion. So let me show you that. So you just fill up this lower cup. And what I've figured out is that you just fill it up all the way. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this over a sink because you, you're gonna obviously have excess water and you're gonna put this top in here and you're just gonna put it all the way in. Uh, let that excess water fall into your sink. You can see it's spouting out the little hole at the top here and kind of set the top in. So the cool thing is now your sphere is completely filled with water. And in fact, you can actually dump the excess water out that comes on the that squirts out and sits in that lid because it won't fall out of uh, the inside of the cup because this hole here is enough to let the air out, but it works like um, a straw. It's too small to lose the water. So that's pretty cool. You can, you can kind of shake off all the excess water before you put it in your freezer. If I turn it over here upside down, you can see I'm not getting any large air bubbles or anything like that here in the, uh, the bottom portion rising to the top. So should be Nice, nice and full. Now, what I will tell you is when you take the sucker out of the freezer, um, the top here has kind of pushed up a little bit. So, you know, if you really wanted to get a perfect sphere, you might just want to push down on this top here and vent a little extra water out of it like that. Get rid of that. And now you'll probably have that little air bubble, as you can see. But as it freezes, it might actually fill that up and, and not distort as much. Because, so instead of getting a really perfect sphere when it's frozen um, it kind of comes out just a little bit oblong not a big deal to me but if you're really anal about that you might want to try just venting a little water out of the hole first before you freeze it then just put the sucker in the freezer okay so my first tip after you take the sucker out of the freezer you'll probably have a little water that's frozen in other places and you can see as it froze it kind of pushed the top up here so um, the one thing you want to do is definitely run it under hot water which i have going here and not only do you want to run it under hot water, kind of at least for a moment, but you actually it's it's actually not a problem to kind of melt the top layer of the ball because otherwise it's hard to get out. In fact, uh, between this clear plastic and the rubber mold lid, um, some water gets in here and freezes, and then it's actually really hard to get it out. So you want to make sure you take your time, even in the, the spaces in there, run some hot water. It's, it's probably not a big deal because if you shrink the ball down a little bit, the two and a half inch ball is still pretty big. And you want to get that hot water all over. It's actually pretty, pretty hot because it's kind of hurt my hands a little bit. But there, let's go ahead and try opening this up. Okay, so I ran this under hot water and now it's going to come apart pretty easily. And as you can see here, uh, the ball just falls out of the, the uh, rubber piece. And now you've got a nice... Um, sphere-ish, depending on how much it expanded as it's frozen. 
uh, you know, I did free some other ones and I kind of really had to, you know, muscle them out of this piece. And the key there is just heat this sucker up so it's it uh, it melts a little bit and becomes pliable. Now I've got my glass here and I'm just going to throw it in there because this ball is pretty big. As you can tell, um, you know, as you're melted it a little bit, you can see the impurities in the water have kind of uh, caused some clouding. There's a little bit of cracking. No big deal. I'm not looking for it to look like a um, science project or anything, but that's pretty cool. And a big sphere of ice melts a little slower. Now, normally, I would take my Balvenie here and pour myself a little uh, little <clears throat> nightcap, but since this is first thing in the morning, I'm gonna pour myself a big nightcap. Actually, I'm gonna hit it up with a little Dr. Pepper here, and you just pour your drink over the ice ball. I'm not gonna drown it there, just really cool. Uh, the cool thing about the sphere is it's the smallest surface area for the volume, and so it should be the slowest to melt, as opposed to using small cubes, or this is kind of the most efficient way to keep ice in your glass and not have it melt. So, two and a half inch sphere, nice and big, does fit inside a, a, a typical uh, tumbler like this, so I think it's an overall good buy. Peter Von Panda, Tavolo, Sphere Maker, out!